Hey everyone, I'm Tech Steve, and on this video, I'm going to show you guys a document scanner from Kodak Alaris. And I want to thank the team over there for reaching out to me to show you guys the scanner because I personally think that it's great for consumers and for businesses. Now, the reason you would have a document scanner is because we get a lot of mail coming in all the time and you have all this mail building up in stacks. This allows you to scan it into a computer and store it either on a cloud or on an external hard drive so you can stay organized and you can go back and pull out that document whenever you need it. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys everything that comes in the box, how to set it up and how to use it. So sit back and relax and let's get started. In a box, it comes with everything you need, including a link to a website so you can download everything online just in case your computer doesn't have a CD. But you do get the CD as well as a USB cable. You also get the power brick. And it also has all these different European and American connections so you can use it just about anywhere in the world. The Alaris E1035 scanner can scan up to 80 sheets of paper. And the great thing about this is that you can do up to 4,000 pages per day. And just by moving the guides, you can also scan receipts. On the front of the scanner, there's a display that can show nine different tasks that you're doing, also some controls and a power button. Unlike some scanners, it's easy to release paper just in case you get a jam, but it rarely happens. And it looks like the scanner is very easy to clean. You have some rollers on the top here, and you have this bar right here for scanning. And on the other side, you're gonna see there's three more rollers to keep the paper lined and another scanner so you can scan on both sides of the paper. And there's also a sensor in here and two additional rollers to keep from those paper jams that you have on a lot of scanners. On the back of the scanner, there's a slot for a security device. It also takes in a 24 volt power supply. And there's a USB that's compatible with Windows and a lot of computers, but it's not compatible with Apple computers, just so you guys know. Now we took a look at the scanner. Let's dive into the software that you get included with this scanner so I can show you guys how to get it all set up in your computer. The first thing you want to do is go to the website that's on the setup guide and then we're going to install the Windows drivers. You can also see the drivers for Linux as well. But what you want to do is save it to your download folders on your computer. Now go through the setup wizard until it asks you to plug in a USB and turn the scanner on. So it took a few minutes and now my computer is connected to the scanner and I'm going to try a test document. So now the drivers are installed successfully. But the next thing you have to do is go to a website and register the device so you can get access to the full software package. And without doing this, you won't have access unless you have some other scanning software. Now that we have everything set up and ready to go, let me show you the different ways you can scan either documents or photos into the computer. So just like you guys, I have like old photo albums from years ago and has all these pictures in them, but they're here. So what I wanna do is just take a few of these pictures and upload them to the computer so I can show you guys how you can take those memories and bring them back to life. All right, so here's some photos that I'm gonna use for this demonstration. And the great thing is, no matter how you put them in here, this scanner is so smart that it's gonna figure out how to make them straight. And they call that perfect page. So what you wanna do is just put them in the scanner, face down, and then on the computer, you wanna go over here and hit start. Click on Alaris E1000 scanners. Then you wanna click on this STV diagnostics. Now when you get this pop-up, just go ahead and press okay. And now the computer is connecting to the scanner. Now the way the software works is if you hit drivers up here, you can open up setup and then you can do default, you can do black and white, color, but what we're gonna do is do color photograph. Once you press on that, go ahead and press okay. And you can divide this up into different screens as well. You can do one page, two page, four page, or eight pages. So let's go ahead and uh, hit the four page and we're gonna go ahead and scan these pictures in. So all you need to do is go up here and hit start scanning. Now down here at the bottom, you can see under C, Twain images is where you're gonna find the pictures. So what you wanna do is go ahead and minimize this and then open up that folder. 
So you can hit C, Twain, and there's all the pictures. Now you notice that they're all in different orders. So what you can do is double click on them. It'll open up your imaging software. And then we can use this tool to rotate them to the right direction. Go to the next picture, same thing. And since now they're in the computer, you can go ahead and edit with any kind of software like Adobe Photoshop, or you can go in here and uh, just add some filters and kind of clean up the picture a little bit if you need to. And once you get all those photos scanned into your computer, you can then move them over to a thumb drive. And a lot of people don't know this, but most TV sets will play these pictures right on the screen. Now I'm gonna show you guys some other software that's included with this and how to scan documents. At the bottom here, you should see the Laris E1035. And if you click on it, you get these options right here. But what we're gonna do is so I can show you guys all the different configurations and just go ahead and press on configurations. So in the front of the scanner, you can see this number right here. And the way this works is you can actually customize every single option here. So when you press the number on the front of the scanner, it'll automatically go to these options. You can also rename it. You can also choose the destination. So if I hit this, you can make it go to a file, application, box, Google Drive, SharePoint. And this is where you can set everything up. And this is where you can have your IT guide to put everything in. So every time you scan this, it can go to your office SharePoint. You can also choose what kind of file that it makes. You have PDF, Word document, Excel worksheet. So you have all kinds of options in there. Another thing I'm gonna show you guys is under settings here, you can go ahead and customize everything. So for example, you have here your default color black and white photos like I showed you a minute ago. But then you can go over here to documents and you can choose if you want it one side or back side only. And under image tab, you can then go here and choose what bits you want to do, as well as text and graphics. What resolution, you can see it can go up to 1200 DPI. The size of everything, adjustments. So you can pretty much choose everything you want. And then under device settings, of course you have your power setting mode, multi-feed, pretty much everything you need there. So if you look in the printer, you can see I have two little documents that I print out on my laser printer. But let's say I want to convert that to a PDF. You can go down here to the bottom, hit Alaris. Then I can say black and white PDF. Then you see the computer's processing it. It's gonna save the file and then it's gonna launch the PDF reader. And let's just use Adobe as the default one. And make sure you download a PDF reader or this doesn't work. And there you go. Now you can see here it scanned everything like I want it. The last few things that you need to know about this scanner is that it can hold 80 sheets of paper and it can scan 35 pages per minute. So that's moving pretty fast. And that's gonna cover your black and white, grayscale, as well as colored documents around two or 300 DPI. It also supports OCR. So if you guys are trying to convert a document over to something that'll work on Excel or Microsoft Word, then it will support that as well. The scanner is also compatible with a few accessories if your environment is different than just a standard office. For example, if you need to scan a lot of legal size paper, they have a dock that goes on the bottom of this and then it actually will work with the software that comes with it. There's also a passport scanner that you can get as well. So you can see you have a lot more options that you can use with this particular scanner. The price on it is around $400 and I'll leave a link in the description below. If you like my video, go and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.